Leon County Schools Transportation Department has created this video as a learning tool in instructing our precious Chicago in school bus safety on how to evacuate a school bus in the event of an emergency and to avoid panic by familiarizing school personnel and students in procedures for quickly and safely leaving the bus. Florida statute also gives the school district the responsibility to conduct at least two emergency evacuations each year on all the buses that service their schools. The first evacuation should be conducted within the first six weeks of school and the second emergency evacuation should be conducted within the first six weeks of the second semester. All school bus evacuation drills should be conducted on school grounds under the supervision of a principal or principal's designee along with the cooperation of a school bus driver. The school district also will document each evacuation on the form provided by their local transportation department and also keep record in their school files. This video will show you several key factors to remember when conducting your evacuation. We will show you the evacuation procedures using a regular school bus, a transit bus, and a special needs bus. It is very important that the evacuation is conducted in an orderly manner. This will avoid panicking and needless possible injuries. The objective of an emergency evacuation is to acquaint riders with the use of the rear exit door method, the side door method, and the front door method. Other methods of the evacuation include the push out windows and the roof hatchets. Each evacuation will be timed and recorded. It is very important that the passengers exit out of the bus quickly, leaving all belongings on the bus. Prior to having your emergency evacuation, the school bus operator should instruct the students on how to operate the emergency exits. Several, there are several types of emergency exits on the bus. You have your top hatch. To exit this, you will turn this knob and push up while pushing this red button up and it flips over. Also, you come on down, you also see that there are red handles. The emergency windows to exit this, you will pull it open and push out. Uh, there's several different other ones. You have that one, you have this one. All of those open the same exact way. Also, you have a second emergency hatch. It will open the same way. And then your rear door, you lift the handle and push out. During the evacuation drill, the driver remains on the bus to direct orderly evacuation. Instruct students to walk 100 feet away from the bus, avoiding traffic. Caution students as they are getting off the bus to avoid the header. After all passengers have evacuated the bus, the driver shall walk down the aisle looking under the seats to ensure all passengers are off the bus. After the bus is evacuated and all students are removed to a safe location, the principal will inform the students to re-enter to collect their belongings. Now that you know the purpose and importance of conducting a school bus evacuation drill, Leon County School drivers will do a simulation drill to show you how it should be conducted using three different types of buses. The first type that we will simulate an emergency evacuation is on our transit bus. The second one will be on our regular conventional style bus. And then the third evacuation that we will simulate will be on our ESC standard bus. Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be Good morning. Today we're going to be conducting a bus evacuation drill and we can start whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting outside by the side door. I want your attention. I want uh, my two helpers to exit the side door. You're going to be helping the other students get off the bus. Go ahead and get up. I want everybody to leave their personal belongings on the bus. Once you get off, Go about 100 feet to the side, away from the bus, to remember to sit and scoot. Stay calm, sit and scoot. <laughs> huh. 
hustle, everybody. Yeah. Sit and scoop. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> I feel like Miss Shirley rushing up. Come on, come on. She's going to have a heart attack. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. We can't go to the homecoming game. Sit and scoop. Sit and scoop. Sit and scoop. Do I need to go check the scoop? Sit and scoop. Sit and scoop. Great job! Your evacuation was under two minutes. Your students may now re-enter the bus and get their belongings. Have a good day! Good morning. Good morning. I'm Principal Fowle. We are ready to uh, start the new evacuation drill. When you are, I'll be standing at the rear emergency exit door. Yes. Sir. Good luck. All right. Will my two helpers please exit the back door and get in position to help the other students uh, perform their evacuation? Uh, remember to leave all your personal belongings on the bus and to exit the bus and walk 100 feet away from the bus in this direction. Make sure you're paying attention to where I'm pointing because this is where I want you to go. Also make sure we want to do this in a safe and timely manner. And we'll begin now. Let's go. Remember, we're being timed, so we want to do this as quickly and safely as we possibly can. Remember also that you're going to sit and scoot out the door. We're not jumping out of the door. We're sitting and we're scooting. And the helpers will be there on the side to assist you. Let's go. Take your time, sit. Yes. Sit and scoot. Yes. Take your time, sit and yes. scoot. Sit and scoot. Sit and scoot. Sit and scoot. Fred, you want me to still go back? Sit and scoot. Sit and scoot. Take your time, sit and scoot. Sit and scoot. Sit and scoot. Great job. Your evacuation time was under two minutes. Your students can now return to the bus for their belongings. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Miss Allen. How are you this morning? My name is Principal Meeks, and we are conducting our bus evacuation drill this morning. So I will begin when you're ready, and my assistant, Ms. Ophelia, is going to come up and introduce herself. Thank you. Good morning. Hi, my name is Ophelia, and I'm the assistant at the school, and I will be assisting you with the evacuation. Thank you. Ophelia, can you go ahead and do the little for me, please? Yes. Thank you. Boys and girls. We're going to go ahead and start our evacuation today. And Mr. Keeney, can you go ahead and do the strap, please? And Mr. Irison, can you go ahead and help with the other kids in the back? Go ahead. Let's go. Go ahead and go past that grass. Be careful. Hold on. Go ahead. Hurry up. Let's go, sweetie. Come on. Come on. Let's go, honey. Hold on, honey. Go ahead. Yeah. It's all right. All righty, I'm going to open the door and I'm going to sit down and scoot out. And that's what I want you all to do. Want me to do like you? Yes, I want you to do exactly what I just did. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. There you go. She don't know nothing. Scoot out. There you go. Sit down. Scoot out. Sit down. Sit down. Scoot out. Sit down. Me down here, right? Yeah. Right. 
Great job, Ms. Allen. You completed your evacuation with under the two minutes. You may have the kids return to the bus for their belongings. And you have a great afternoon. Thank you. You're welcome. The bus should immediately evacuate if the following occurs. One, fire or danger of fire. Two, unsafe position. The bus operator must determine immediately whether passengers should remain in the bus or evacuate. In most cases, students are safer when contained in the bus. When is evacuation needed? One, if the bus is in the path of a train or any railroad tracks. Two, if the bus is near a body of water, river, or canal, where the bus might move and go into the water. Three, if the bus is stopped on a hill or curve where visibility is less than 200 feet. Four, if the bus is stopped in an area where heavy traffic may jeopardize the safety of the student and there is an area away from the traffic for students to wait for repairs or replacements of a bus. The school bus operator is responsible for the safety of the riders on the bus. However, in an in emergency, the driver may be incapacitated. So it is very important that the driver designate some helpers on the bus that know the emergency evacuation procedure and also know the, where the emergency equipment is. Leon County Schools Transportation Department staff, bus drivers, bus driver assistant prepared this video because a school bus is the safest mode of travel. However, in the event of an emergency, we want our press Chicago to be able to respond safely and quickly and evacuate the bus because they have been trained what to do in the event of an emergency.